I started my um, fall class with this jar empty, and I put this size rocks in, and I'll say, is the jar full? And they'll say, yeah, okay. Mm, maybe not, because then I put this size rock in. Is it full? Yeah. I add sand. Is it full? Yes. So then I add water. Is it full? Yes, because if we add anything else, it's going to overflow. So then I ask them, what's the metaphor? What if I put the water in first? Nothing else would have gone in. I have to put the big rocks, and that's what we start calling our priorities. Our big rocks have to go in first. Your first priorities have to be first. Your next priorities, your little, what I call fine tuning, and then the water to cement it all together and make a great system. This is the stick. When I teach my students at Campbell, I use metaphors all the time. I have 15, but I didn't have time to present 15. But I wanted you to see what I do to them. I ask them to give me a metaphor for this piece of wood. And they all have one. It's different sizes, different lengths. But, and let me just take another bird, bird walk. Most husbands bring their wives chocolate and flowers. My husband brings bugs, snakes, skins, tree limbs, you get, them, you get the idea. But I taught science and he knew I loved it and that's, that's his way of showing me his love and I love it. So I asked them to give me a metaphor and as they give me the metaphor, it makes my mouth feel dirty because you'll hear why I think kind words are important. But I'll just put them down and say, and you think that's a metaphor for this? I thought you were going to work as a team. That sounds like something John Hood would say. And, and they just kind of look at me like, and I will tell you, at, at one of my classes that I did this, I had a group of veteran I mean, veteran teachers and a first year, uh, first um, young teacher. You have to have three years teaching, but she was young. They would not let her give me their metaphor because they didn't want me screaming at her. Well, the reason I do this for them is you see this little, I don't know if you can see it from where you're sitting, but you see this little tiny vine. A little vine this big has caused this big piece of wood to twist. And I say to them, your words can twist a little soul. A teacher who rips up a piece of paper in front of a child because the work is unacceptable is unacceptable. It twists when you throw away those ugly words to children you twist and limit their ability to learn. What's he going to learn after you've told him he's stupid? What's he going to learn when you've told him his work doesn't measure up? Instead of saying, let me help you make it better, that's why kind words are important. 